Big political news from Jammu and Kashmir. The Congress is set to join hands with the two main parties in the valley, the National Conference and the PDP. This just months after the BJP walked out of the previous coalition government, leading to governor's rule. It was absolutely uh, a non-political meeting. I had called on him. It was it is Eidi Miladu Nabi today. I just called on him to wish him. That is all. Please don't look at it from any political angle. It has no political contours to it. Uh -huh. um, I did tell you, uh, confirm to you a little while ago, Hello? yes, uh, my leadership has confirmed it to us that Ji? the three parties have agreed to make a coalition to defend the special identity of state, both politically and legally. It's a bad day for our actors in Bollywood. Akshay Kumar was quizzed for nearly two hours by an SIT in Chandigarh today in connection with the Bargari sacrilege row in Punjab. The SIT was investigating the incidents of police firing on mobs protesting the 2015 desecration of the Guru Granth Sahib. The 51-year-old actor has denied all charges against him, including the allegations that he arranged for a meeting between former Deputy Chief Minister Subir Singh Badal and Dera Sachasada Chief Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh. A month after rape allegations were hurled against Bollywood's Sanskari Bapu Alok Nath, the police have finally registered an FIR today. Vinta Nanda had revealed her experience with the actor on social media last month during the Me Too movement. Since the lynching of Mohammed Akhlaq in 2015, there have been at least 35 incidents of lynchings related to cattle vigilantism in 11 states across India. But how does Lynchistan operate? Here's an inside look at the Gauraksha infrastructure. <laughs> Since the lynching of Mohammed the Clock in September 2015, there have been more than 35 lynchings related to cattle vigilantism in 11 states across India. Muslim people have to do this with them and they have to kill them with them. It's a mini Pakistan. I'm asking you, we are living in Hindustan, are we less than Hindus? After Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's smash Brahmanical patriarchy poster raked up debate on social media, senior journalist Barka Dutt slammed Indian Twitter for what she calls were lies and poor handling of the interaction. She says many of the women in the group hadn't seen the contents of the poster, which was gifted to Dorsey by a Dalit rights activist, until much later. So what else is making news? One person was arrested in connection with the blast at Amritsar's Nirankari Bhavan, which left three people dead on Sunday. Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh said that the second person will be nabbed soon. Thousands of farmers and tribals from Maharashtra began their two-day protest march from Thane today. The march, which will culminate in Azad Maidan, will include farmers and tribals from North Maharashtra, Vidarbha, Ahmednagar and other parts of the state. The agenda on their list would be the fulfilment of their long-pending demands of loan waivers and drought management. An American tourist was killed by tribals in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Seven people who took the 27-year-old John Allen Chow to North Sentinel Island, where the Sentinelese people live, have been arrested. Also, hey, stand by for the Bengaluru wedding reception of the newlywed couple Deepika and Ranveer. Stay with the Quint to know what the couple will be wearing, what food's on the menu, and which stars you can spot. That's all we have for you on this edition of QRAP. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to The Quint.